From a black base coat, paint all of the armour panels with Venetian purple, keeping this paint thin and painting it in multiple coats to not obscure detail. recess shade the armour panels with Drusia Violet. If I was to do this again I would probably use something like Shaiish Purple Contrast Paint. It's not a paint I own but it would probably fill in easier as this required multiple coats to get a thick finish in the recesses. Paint all the areas to either be black, silver or gold with a baton black. So this is the entirety of the gun, the strapping on the model, the edges of the pauldrons and the undersuit between the armour plates, particularly at the back of the knees. Paint all the areas to be silver with iron hand steel. On the larger panels, such as on the gun, paint the entirety of the area. When it comes to the ribbed strapping on the chest, I used a smaller brush and with some dried paint, almost dry brush the edge of it. It's not 100% because the detail is quite fine, but it's probably an easier way of promoting contrast. In any case, this is washed with null oil on the next step to enhance this effect. shade all of the silver areas with null oil. Paint the gold areas with Retributor Armour, using the edge of the brush where possible. Uh, the edge of the pauldrons are raised, so this is probably the easiest and quickest way of doing it. Note there seems to be some variance on how much gold is on the Emperor's Children. Some people pick out the parts of the backpack as well. Uh, really, whichever you'd fancy yourself, any bits that are silver could equally be gold. Shade the gold areas with Gollum and Flesh.
pinch highlight all the sharp edges of the silver with Stormhose Silver. Flatter the brush where you can't get a good angle on it, but any of the sharp edges that are raised using the edge of the brush to pick out the detail. and highlight the gold areas with Liberator Gold. Edge highlight the black areas, firstly with ash and grey. Um, as always, where possible, use the edge of the brush, particularly on things like bolters, they're very sharp edges, so this is actually not too difficult to do. But just take your time anywhere that you need to paint straight lines. Remember to pick out the ribbing of the undersuit between the knees and between the thighs at this point as well. Pick out the corners and any of the rivets on the gun with administratum grey. You could do this highlight on the undersuit as well. I didn't particularly bother as this is a troop model, um, but if I was to do that, I'd pick out the middle of the ribbing to give the effect of light hitting it. Now edge highlight all of the sharp edges on the armour with Jean Steeler Purple. This is the longest step, um, take your time with it as this is quite a light colour, any thick lines or overspill can easily be corrected with Venetian Purple. Remember to pick out the rivets in this colour as well. Complete the armour then with dot highlights of Slanesh Grey at the sharpest corners. There's not a huge amount of this paint needed, but really the, the most prominent edges on the armour and the backpack, um, and mostly of course around the face, just to give the extra uh, impact of the purple colours. To ensure that the eyes pop, I started by painting the entirety of the eye lens area with the Baden Black. I also took the opportunity at this point to pick out the grills and the face mask with this colour as well, just to give more definition. Paint the entirety of the lens with Stegadon Scale Green.
paint the front half of the lens with thinned Temple Guard Blue. Paint the front approximately quarter of the lens then with Baharat Blue. Paint a dot of blue horror right at the front of each lens. And paint a dot of white scar in the darkest part of the back of the lens to complete the effect. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, feel free to check out the channel where I have numerous other painting tutorials on the Horus Heresy and Warhammer and other game systems.